See this ghetto rig I had to set up? I gotta use this webcam and this camera. And I gotta tape it to the chair. Hey fam, it's Andrew again with the Scam S Potential. Today we're not gonna go through any games, but a device that plays games. It is Samsung. Galaxy. Z. Fold. Two. I know it's not your first unboxing, I know it's probably your last unboxing. I've never done unboxing, so we're just gonna see how it goes. And uh, we're using my webcam, which is potato quality, because my other cam is for the unboxing. So, here we go. Ba -ba. Let's see here. So, Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Uh, mine is in black, just got it today. It says uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold there as well. Some barcodes, fancy packaging. This one, made in Korea. Obviously, they're all made in Korea. I would assume. I mean, they have some plants other places. So maybe there are. You know, I don't know if all the Z Folds are made in Korea. But I know a lot of the Samsung factories in different locations, you know, India, Korea, different uh, different places. All right, let's, uh, let's open this up. Andrew Knife. Hey. Try not to cut my finger off in the process. One. Okay. All right. 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 Ooh, it slides out. Ooh, got that butterfly. Fancy print. Okay. It's a logo that's known on the uh, a lot of the screens. Introducing Galaxy Z Fold 5G. Fancy. This is some nice paper. Of course, it's all cardboard you'd expect from a $2,000 phone. There it is. Look at that. There it is. So mine, I got in black, clearly. With the red hinge. I feel like it's gonna break just fully in half like that. So weird. First crease. Do not press on the screen or the front camera lens with a hard or sharp object, such as such as pens or fingernails. Doing so could result in product damage such as scratches or dents. When folding the device, make sure there are no objects such as cards, coins, or keys placed in between the screens, as doing so may cause damage. Who would have thought? Closing with metal objects in your phone could damage the screen. This device is not dust or waterproof. Exposure to liquid or small particles, such as water, coffee, or sand, may cause product damage, such as scratches and or dents. That's one definitely downfall from going with the Note 10 Plus is that it's not water resistant and it's not even dust resistant. Obviously, because it has a hinge, which is improvements from the Z Fold 1 or the Fold, I should say, to the Z Fold 2. It doesn't have external memory and it doesn't have the best cameras. But you're paying $2,000 for a feature that it can fold, have a tablet-like device in your pocket that can fold in half. That's really what you're paying for. I really hope in the Z Fold 3, they'll obviously have water resistance ability, but with that hinge, I don't know how they're gonna do it. But at Samsung, I'm sure they'll figure it out. And the stylus, that'd be really cool too. But I don't know how I'd feel pressing on it with a stylus if you can't press on it with a pen. Not that, I mean, a pen is metal, stylus is not plastic, but you get the, you get the Contains magnets. Keep a safe distance between device and objects that may affect credit cards and implanted medical devices. If you have an implanted medical device, consult your physician before use. So I shouldn't put this to my chest if I have a pacemaker. Well, I don't, so I'm sure I'm fine. Look at that first screen peel. That's, I should really look up the differences between the Note 10 cameras. Oh, so glossy. How is that not going to be anti-stick? Look at that fingerprint already. Come on. All right, well, let's put that aside. Let's see what else we got in the box just for now. Galaxy Z Premier Service. The Galaxy Fold device 
comes with specialized customer care services down the line to deliver the best possible product experience to our valued customers. A Galaxy Z Concierge, as well as a one year screen replacement offer. One time out of warranty screen replacement within one year of the purchase for a special price of $149. But how much is it to replace it without the 149? Definitely something to look into. And it comes with a charger. Wow, one up on Apple right there, huh? Kinda like Petty Pretty needs more chargers. But another charge never hurt anybody. And a cord. My boy Naruto back there. Right here. Oh there it is. The SIM key. Alright, so I'm sure it comes 50% powered on. Oh, it just feels so weird. It feels so premium. All oh, that red, that customized red hinge. So I got the customized red hinge from ordering from Samsung.com. Doing so, obviously you got a custom hinge, which is unlike no other. I'm sure somebody else chose, you know, black and red. How uncommon. But it's, it's cool, it's not like any others you can get at AT&T or Verizon at the store in general. Also, Samsung has their own financing options, you know, they give you like 500 bucks for the Note 10, which is great, you know, half their price, and then it can just finance the rest. And actually a maximum of like four years, so 48 months, it's like 30 bucks a month. I mean, for a $2,000 phone, that's, you gotta have some kind of financing option, because I don't know how you're gonna sell a $2,000 drop to the average consumer, you know, unless you like, Bill Gates, but maybe he has a Windows phone, who knows. Alright, so this is the screen protector that uh, we're supposed to leave on. I don't know how I feel about taking it off yet. This is the thumb. Yeah. Oh, all those prints already, it's like a mirror. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, it's gonna get so dirty, I gotta get a case. So I ordered a case, right? And I thought this was gonna ship in like October, but I guess I got it in October. I thought it was gonna ship like in two weeks. So I ordered a case and it'll get here in November. It's this big in case, so it'll be good. But it's gonna get a while to get here, so I'm gonna have to be cleaning this day this phone daily. Anyway. So there's a SIM card slot on, on the edge there. Got the speaker up top, the microphone right there. Volume up down, the uh, thumbprint sensor, the charger, the bottom mic, and the bottom speaker. Oh, look at that, double sided. Oh, so cool. So cool. Is that continuity? No. Kind of, kind of set up on this side. Doesn't look like it. Let's go. Okay. English. Guess I have to accept. The thumbprint is a button. Who would have thought? Not me. Pokemon 5G. Enter password. What's my password? Uh, nurse. Joy. Connected. I can't get over how big it is. I'm gonna end it there for now. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, tell me why. Give it a thumbs down. I don't like really care. Tell me why. Maybe we can prove it. See me, tell me what you want to like. Tell me what games you want to see. We also have this uh, twin mole mobile emulator. It is a Chinese controller. If I were to plug this in, it would be like this. You know what? That's kind of weird. I don't think it'll work anyway because I don't think it'll fully slide in. 
I think I have to chop out these bezels here. See this ghetto brain guy to set up? I gotta use this webcam and this camera. And I gotta tape it to the chair. Anyway, so this one doesn't have, it's got the bottom grooves, but it doesn't have top grooves. It's also Bluetooth. And this one maps over it. So this one I can most definitely use. To play Android games, to play PlayStation games. Oh my gosh, look at that. Perfect. Flawless. Won't bend. Oh, this is going to be so great. Playing some Crash Bandicoot, playing some Mario. Anyways, we'll do that in the next video. Then I can compare it, maybe with enough 10. I don't know, we'll see. But, yeah. Okay, I'm out.